like I know that they call it the magic injection, but I'm like, no, this is really the magic injection. <laughs> The source of my PTSD comes from military sexual trauma. I endured a series of sexual violence during my time on active duty in the United States Marine Corps. I'm hoping to get from this uh, a feeling of peace, like inner peace. And I'm hoping that with that, I can focus on my ambitions um, and like restore my life because I, I feel like I'm someone who always strives for the best and really like I want to make an impact in the world. Like I want to do good. And I feel like a lot of times my potential is restricted because I'm dealing with a disability. So I'm really hoping that like I can spread my wings and fly. My most glaring symptoms are like violent ideation, insomnia, uh, nightmares, uh, and thoughts of suicide. Okay, so during my lowest moments, uh, I, I personally call it my malfunctioning points where I feel like no matter what I'm doing, like I could do everything right, be in therapy, take my medications, I'm still symptomatic. And the lowest points for me are having such severe anxiety that I have insomnia and nightmares repeatedly. And when it's triggering suicidal ideation or homicidal ideation, that terrifies me. Because like I know who I am as a person and you know, I, I do my best to be optimistic. So at those really, really low points, I, like I've had points where I was like, why do I feel like I can relate to a murderer? And like that's, it's, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying that I'm like, I'm malfunctioning. I can't control this. Nothing's working. There are points, especially recently where I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like it's tiring, you know? Sorry, I'm getting really emotional. And um, it, it feels like a person you can't get out of. So, and you know, I've been dealing with this for 16 years. So like for me now, I'm like, oh my God, like there's a chance that I'm gonna have a normal life. And like, that's a big deal for me. I'm hoping everything changes. Like I'm hoping um, my relationships improve. I'm hoping that I don't, like I can tolerate intimacy and that I don't fear it. Um, you know, I'm hoping that I'm more optimistic and I'm hoping that I don't have insomnia, anxiety, suicidal ideation. Like I'm, I want all those symptoms like out of my life. I don't want to have any of that. You know, I, I, I want to be healthy and, th and that's a priority. Also, like I want to enter motherhood. And the thing is, that's been a challenge because I have a past of miscarrying and then um, postpartum with PTSD is like having a PTSD episode magnified. It's excruciatingly painful. So it got to a point for me that I was like, I'm just not going to have children and I'm just not going to ever be in a relationship. And one of the things that like I really got to is I was like, this is this is actually harming me. You know, going through this treatment that I'm going to be able to function in a capacity that I can build a family, can be healthy and can have children. I've never felt like this, you know, like to wake up and be like, wow, life feels good and refreshing. Even my thought process right now feels so much more healthy and, and I feel more optimistic. So it's like, I wasn't expecting to like wake up from this procedure to feel like this. So it, it's mind blowing to me that this is possible. I think I'm gonna go to the beach and see what that feels like to just be in a relaxing environment, feeling relaxed. <laughs> this is so crazy. Like I was not expecting to feel like this. <laughs> Like, I literally feel better. <laughs> like, I'm like, th th it's nuts. This is in, like pure insanity to me because I think I expected to feel better, but nowhere near to this extent. I have a, a love affair with being outdoors. So I definitely want to spend time outside and, and see what that feels like. To just embrace nature, like just being without feeling any symptoms. Like this is what it feels like to be healthy. Like, I feel happy. Like, I genuinely feel happy. Like, I didn't know this was possible. I feel like this. So it's like, I feel like my hope has been revived. <laughs>